Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to talk about America during these end times. What do you think is going to happen to us? What are you expecting? What are you feeling in your gut? Are any of you praying? Do you realize how things are hanging in the balance right now? We have no idea what God is going to allow. We have no idea the plans of the rich, of the elite, of the Illuminati, of the occult. We have no idea of what is in the plans of the powers that be. But anytime you have things going on in the air and it's legalized of poisonous toxins being released, through the plains, they call it harp, or through Monsanto, poisoning our foods with genetically modified foods. And then cancer is on the ramp rampage. And we wonder uh, what's going on. God is trying to let us see. But you know, the sad part is many of us are turning a deaf ear and a blind eye because we don't want to deal with the problems that are looming over our heads. We don't want to face the possibilities of hell on wheels, of the nitty gritty hitting the fan. We don't want to face that because we're America. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess what? No country is immune to its own nonsense. And anytime you create a monster, baby, you have to deal with the consequences. I don't care how wonderful your advancements and your accomplishments are. You have to deal with the consequences of greed, of lies, of prejudice, of oppression. And yeah, you know, we come under the guise of being a... Uh, uh, a country based on instead of uh, oh what do you call it it's a capitalist society let's put it like that and we think that that's all good but if it were all good why are so many people in this country sleeping on the streets if in God we trust why do we trust more in the dollar bill than we do in taking care of our poor citizens. Tell me, what is your answer to that? If we are such an advanced civilization, why are we so cruel? Why are we so heinous when it comes to throwing people in prison that did not commit the crime and we agree in the pockets of the judges and the, and the district attorneys? To have it so. The prisons are profiting. And you're worried about which leader we're going to have. This country was in the toilet years ago. When the sins of the heads of state. The sins of Congress. The sins of the CIA, the FBI. The sins of the powers that be were let loose with a blank check. Yeah, we're in trouble. We need prayer. The scripture in 2 Chronicles seven fourteen says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. How do you expect God to bless mess? We're not turning from our sins. We're embracing them. We're not turning from greed, from treachery. We're going to bed with it. 
We're bowing to it. We worship it. We worship child trafficking, sex slaves, prostitution, pornography, drug dealing, and thereby the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. You don't realize what's happening. It's a systematic deterioration. You think that cancer is our biggest enemy in this country? It's the cancer of the soul. We are dying and we are too entertained to know it. We are dying, you guys. Don't ignore that fact. It's prayer time. Pray to God in a time where he may be found. Don't slide through this thinking. It's going to be okay because you're okay. I'm okay. And everybody's okay. No, I'm sorry, baby, but that ain't okay. It ain't what you think. It's time to stop lying to ourselves. It's time to stop lying to God. And it's time to stop fronting off. Putting on that masquerade, that, that mask we wear everywhere. Oh, I love you and you love me. No, some of y'all hate blacks. Some of y'all hate Mexicans. Some of y'all hate whites. This country is so divided, it is a crying shame. It ought to make you weep, the condition we're in. When you walk downtown LA and along the streets of Manhattan, and you see these people lying in the streets, and they, some of them, have fought for this country. But nobody wants to waste funds on them. Because as far as the powers that be are concerned, they are a lost cause. Even if they might be related to them, they stay as disengaged as a person would stay disengaged from a leper. Not realizing some of these conditions that are out on the street, some of these people that are hurting, that are mindless, have been made that way by the pharmaceutical companies, have been made that way by the financial institution of this country. People are dying, people are sick, people are suffering, and all we show is sports and models and makeup. Oh, we show the pretty side. We show the bling bling. Because that is what we think is the end thing. But let me tell you something, baby. It is sin. Not the end thing. It's sin. All of it is sin. It's a facade. It's a farce. When this country bows its knees and truly repents and people turn to God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, things will change for the better. But as long as we are bent on going our own way and literally giving the finger to God, you watch how God gives the finger to America, to this world. God help us all. It's prayer time, you guys. Please pray.